Masi Masam. Masi month is the 11th month in the traditional calendar followed in Tamil Nadu. Masi month in 2023 began on February 13 and end on March 13. Mahashivaratri is observed in Masi Mas. This year it was on February 18th. We at Hariyom celebrated this day with lot of devotion. Masi Magam is another auspicious day in this month. This year it was on March 6th. Full moon day or the Pavnami in Masi Masam was on March 7th. This day is also celebrated as holy festival or festival of colors. Masi Masam is dedicated to Lord Shiva and Pitru Devatas or ancestors. In Tamil Nadu this month is considered auspicious for new beginnings of business for conducting marriages for constructing new houses etc grand utsavams are held in temples such as Sri Rangam Pondicherry Mahabalipuram etc Happy Holi This festival reminds us of the holika story from from the Narasimha Purana a story of bhakta praharada brings to light that with complete faith in the supreme lord we can achieve the impossible thus with this practice of bhakti we move forward at hari om Maha Shivaratri the great night of Shiva is a Hindu festival celebrated annually in honor of Lord Shiva observed between February and March this festival also celebrates the wedding of Shiva and Parvati it signifies the union of consciousness and energy which promotes creation it is on this occasion that Lord Shiva performs his divine dance called the Tandava This day is just right to make spiritual offerings and purify our minds. Do you know Lord Shiva? Shiva the auspicious one, also known as Mahadeva, the great god or Hara Hara is one of the principal deities of Hinduism. Jyotir Linga or the huge infinite pillar of light means the radiant signs of Lord Shiva. Jyotir Lingas are said to be found in places where Lord himself appeared on earth. Originally, they were believed to have been 64 Jyotir Lingas, of which 12 are very auspicious and holy. In the present day, the locations are 4 in Maharashtra, 2 in Gujarat, 2 in Madhya Pradesh, 1 in Uttar Pradesh, 1 in Uttarakhand, 1 in Andhra Pradesh, and one in tamil nadu the 12 jyoti lingas are somnath mallikarjun mahakaleshwar omkareshwar vaidyanath bhima shankar rameshwar nageshwar vishwanath triambakeshwar kedarnath krishneshwar The 12 Jyotir Lingas have been beautifully described in the Dwadasha Jyotir Linga Stotram by Shankaracharya. Saurashtre Somanadancha Shri Shaile Mallikarjuna Ujjayinyam Mahakalam Omkare Mamaleshwaram Somanath Jyotirlinga in Saurashtra Gujarat 
Let us see the story of Chandra the moon. Chandra god was married to the 27 daughters of Daksha Prajapati. Daksha asked Chandra to treat all his daughters equally. As time passed by, Chandra showed favoritism to Rohini, neglecting rest of the wives. This news reached Daksha Prajapati and he got angry. He went to Chandra and reminded him of his promise, but Chandra did not seem to change at all. So, Daksha cursed Chandra that he will lose his shine and soon vanish. On the advice of Lord Brahma, Chandra made a linga and worshipped Shiva. He recited the Mahamrityunjaya mantra. Shiva helped him to regain his power and this led to the phases of the moon. Additionally, Shiva mounted the crescent moon on his head to show his affection. Mallikarjuna Jyotra Linga in Sri Sailam Andhra Pradesh Story of Mallika Arjuna and Muruga the Kailash of the South Once Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati decided to get their sons Lord Ganesha and Kar- Lord Kartikeya married to suitable brides Lord Shiva suggested that whoever goes around the world and returns first will be wedded first Lord Kartikeya jumped on his peacock and started the journey but Lord Ganesha went around his parents seven times and claimed that his parents were the world to him so Lord Ganesha won the competition Lord Kartikeya got angry he left Kailash to live on Mount Krauncha Shiva and Parvati went in search of him Kartikeya came to know about this and moved and he moved to another place Shiva and Parvati were disturbed by their son and thus they took the form of a jyotirlinga and lived on the mountain the place where lord shiva and parvati waited is known is now known as shri sailam it is believed that shiva me- meets kartikeya on every amma amavasya and parvati meets kartikeya on every purnima the mahakaleshwar jyotirlinga there once was a ruler of ujjain called chandrasena who had was a devotee of lord shiva one day a farmer's boy shrika heard the king chant shiva's names and he also wanted to pray with him but the guards did not allow him and sent him to the river shipra Rivals of Ujjain decided to take over the treasures of Ujjain. Hearing this, Shrikar and a prize in Vridhi started to pray. The rivals, at, rivals attacked, attacked Ujjain with the help of Dushin, who had the boon of being undefeated. Well, undefeated. Shiva appeared in Mahakarya. kala mahakala kala form and destroyed the enemies of king chandrasena shrikar and vridhi requested lord shiva to reside in the place to protect all his devotees forever omkareshwar jyotirlinga in mamaleshwar khandwa madhya pradesh the story of mount vindhya and mount meru and the story of the celestial war the epileptical shape linga It is situated in an om-shaped island called Mandatha or Narmada river. There are two stories which come alongside the temple. In the first one, Mount Vindhya got jealous of Mount Meru by the influence of Narada. Vindhya performed a penance to Lord Shiva which pleased him and he gave Vindhya the boon of growing massive on the condition that it must not trouble the pilgrims. He also resided at the place as a Jyotirlinga. After some time it started creating problems to the pilgrims by growing massive in size. People called to sage Argastya for help. The sage ordered Vindhya to not grow until he returns with his wife. The sage never returned and since then the mountain has not grown. The second story. Once 
there was a great war between the celestial devas and asuras in which the asuras won the defeated devas prayed to lord shiva for help lord shiva appeared in the form of omkareshwar and defeated the asuras thus the temple shows that good always wins over evil vaidina jodhalinga in parli maharashtra in this story we see how shiva heals ravana ravana was a great devotee of lord shiva and he requested shiva to reside in lanka however shiva refused so ravana tried to lift mount kailash and take it to the lanka but he could not achieve it shiva became very angry ravana understood his mistake and he undertook severe penance to please lord shiva shiva gave him a linga on a condition that he must not travel on foot and he should not give the linga down the ground throughout his full journey the devas were scared and thus the god of water entered into ravana's body and made him to feel thirsty lord vishnu came in disguise and offered to hold the linga but when ravana was drinking water vishnu kept the linga down seeing this ravana was very disappointed and he cut off his nine heads lord shiva came down to cure ravana the act of curing made lord shiva equivalent to a doctor or a vaidya hence this jodhalinga gets its name as vaidyana jodhalinga bhim shankar jodhalinga in dakini maharashtra There are two famous stories for this Jyotirlinga. Let us see them one by one. The story of Bhima. A demon named Bhima, who was the son of Kumbhakarna, lived in the Dakini forest. He was angry of the fact that his father was killed by Lord Rama. So he performed penance and Lord Brahma gave him the boon of being mighty and powerful. He used his power to frighten all the devotees of Lord Shiva. Shiva appeared and killed Bhima and he manifested himself as a linga in this place. Next, the story of Tripura Sura. Lord Shiva gave a boon of immortality to a demon named Tripura Sura on a condition that he should use it only for good reasons. But the demon used it to kill people. So Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati came in the form of Ardhanarishwar and killed Tripura Sura. Rameshwar Jyotirlinga in Rameshwaram, Tamil Nadu. Let us see the story of Rameshwar Mahadev. Rameshwaram Jyotirlinga gets its name because Lord Rama worshipped Lord Shiva as Rameshwar Mahadev in this spot during the construction of Ram Setu. Hanuman went to Varanasi, Kashi to bring a linga for worshipping Lord Shiva before leaving to Lanka. However, Hanuman could not return before the time. So, Lord Rama made a small linga from the sand and worshipped it. When Hanuman returned, he was upset and so he tried to destroy the linga made of sand with his tail. But the sand structure hardened and turned into stone. Lord Rama also worshipped the linga brought by Hanuman. On his return from Lanka, Lord Rama worshipped the linga asking forgiveness for killing Ravana as he was a Brahmin and a great devotee of Shiva. Today we worship the linga brought by Hanuman in the Ramanatha Swami temple. Nageshwara Jyotirlinga in Darukavanam Gujarat. Story of Namdev and the story of Supriya, Lord of Serpents Vasuki. The story of Namdev A devotee named Namde was asked to step aside and not to hide the god while chanting his name. So, Namde asked the others to suggest a direction where the Lord does not exist. The angry devotee carried him to the south. They were astonished to find that the Shivalinga was also facing the south. The story of Supriya 
Parvati gave a boon to the demon Daruk and his wife Daruka. They both used their powers to imprison a merchant named Supriya, who was a great devotee of Shiva. Shiva, Shiva appeared and killed the demons and saved Supriya. It is believed that Lord Shiva established a linga called Nagnath in the place where he killed Daruk, and this place is known as Daruka Vana. Vishvesham Jodar Linga in Varnasi, Uttar Pradesh. Once Brahma and Vishnu debated over their supremacy. To test them both, Shiva cut the three worlds as a huge endless pillar of light, the Jodar Linga, to determine who was mightier. Brahma and Vishnu decided to ascend and descend across the pillar of light. Vishnu took a form of a boar and Brahma took a form of a swan and travelled to find the end of the pillar. Brahma lied and said that he found the end of the pillar, but Vishnu honestly said that he couldn't find the end of the pillar. And, end and accepted his defeat. Shiva took the form of Bhairava and, and he cut off Brahma's fifth head and cursed Brahma that he would never be worshipped. Thus, due to his honesty, Vishnu is worshipped everywhere. Trayambakam Jyotilinga in Gautami River, Maharashtra the story of Rishi Gautam, Lord Indra and Jaya, the three-faced Linga. The Gautami Ganga flows through the Stotir Linga. In the time of famine, a Rishi named Gautam received a pit full of endless grains and food as a boon from Lord Varuna. Therefore, Rishi Gautam's ashram remained unaffected by the famine. So the people affected by it took shelter here and the Rishi gained more love and affection from the people. This enraged Lord Indra, the king of Devas, and he sent a cow to destroy the pit. The Rishi tried to remove the cow and accidentally killed it. When he understood that Parvati's friend, Jaya, had taken the form of the cow, Gautam Rishi realized his mistake and asked Lord Shiva to cleanse and restore the holiness of the place. The holy place is now called Kushavarta. The Devas then urged Lord Shiva to stay there. Thus, Lord Shiva resided in the form of Trayambakeshwar Jyotirlinga. It is believed that when devotees worship this Jyotirlinga, it fulfills all their desires. Kedarna Jyotirlinga in Himalayas near Uttarakhand. This is a story of Pandavas during Mahabharata war. The Pandavas performed a penance to get rid of their sins of killing their relative. In order to do this, they were advised to seek Lord Shiva's pattern. It is believed that Shiva did not want to forgive them and thus hid himself from them. Shiva appeared in the form of a bull and disappeared into the ground. Bhima, the second Pandava, tried to pull the bull out of the ground and this resulted in an explosion of the body parts of the bull. The hump is seen in the Kedarna temple. Lord Shiva resided himself in the spot as a Jodhalinga. Grishneshwar Jodhar Linga in Shivale Aurangabad, Maharashtra. Grishneshwar Jodhar Linga is the smallest Jodhar Linga temple in India. Let us see the story of Gushma and Sudeha. There was a Brahmin called Sudharm and his wife Sudeha, and they did not have a child. So Sudeha got her sister Gushma married to her husband. Gushma would immerse the lingas in a lake and worship them. She was blessed with a baby boy. Over time, Sudeha became jealous of her sister and murdered the son. Lord Shiva was so pleased with Gushma's devotion that he brought her son back to life. Gushma requested the Lord to forgive her sister. Pleased, the Lord granted her a boon. She asked Lord Shiva to stay in that place 
which is why he resided himself as a jyotirlinga called gushmeshwar or krishneshwar the lake in which gushma immersed the lingas is called shivalaya pitru puja and the holy day long back the lord king named valla in tiruvannamalai a town in tamil nadu he did not have any sons to perform his last rites lord shiva took mercy on him and performed his last rites on the day of masi magam the lord also assured that the individuals who take a holy dip at places like kumbakonam on masi magam will be free from the sense towards the ancestors therefore the hindu ritual of holy dip provides an opportunity to stay connected to our roots and remember them forever let's celebrate this month with this beautiful thought hari om